Uh, so I, uh, I have been involved in the, in the Robotech franchise for almost 25 years, kind of behind the scenes. So I worked at Intersound, don't boo. <laughs> and uh, I helped uh, do a lot of the audio production that was uh, at Intersound. Uh, and uh, so I, I kind of came on board here, uh, and I, you know, I'm just really excited. I'm really, really, really excited for the franchise. We're doing some really, really cool things. But the main reason that I'm here, to be quite frank with you, is I, just, I wanted to thank you. Sincerely thank you. You know, without you guys, we don't have anything. And I, I told Kevin, I said, I want, I want to come, come to Comic Con, and I want to thank everybody. So here, here's what I want to do. If you have any questions, if you have any, any concerns, I'm going to stand right outside this door. I will shake every one of your hands, and I'll answer every question that I can. Okay? Sound like fun? Yeah. <laughs> one of the big questions that people have is what about the movie? Yeah. Yeah. I think Kevin has something to say about that. Yes. You want to hear about the live action film? Yeah! yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, Sony Pictures has acquired the rights to the Robotech live action film. Yeah. <laughs> In addition, we have two producers, Gianni Minnery and Mark Canton. Some of you might not be wondering, well, who are they? What have they done? Well, Mark Canton has produced such films as 300 and 300 Rise of Empire, The Spider-Man Chronicles, and Kate, starring Jennifer Aniston. He was also president of Warner Brothers Pictures, where in the 1980s, he was the man who hired Tim Burton to direct Batman. He was also chairman of Sony Pictures, where in the 1990s, he greenlit such films as A Few Good Men, The Fifth Element, and Men in Black. Yes. John Nunnery has produced such films as Seven and From Dust Till Dawn, The Departed and Shutter Island, and 300 and 300 Rise of Empire. You already said that. <laughs> You're paying attention. It's a test. <laughs> you pass. Make them, you pass. Give that man another poster right now. <laughs> now, Johnny and Mark could not make it tonight. They're very, very busy. However, they have recorded a brand new message. This is the first time it's been seen. You want to see it? Yeah! yeah. Alright, here it is. Hello, all you giant Robotech fans of Comic-Con. I'm uh, Johnny Nunnery. Uh, oh no, I'm actually Mark Canton. I'm one of the producers. I'm Johnny Nunnery. Johnny and I have had some great franchises together, as everyone knows, including 300 and Immortals. We have never been more uh, driven toward anything than making the great version of Robotech. I'm sure you guys are having a lot of fun there in San Diego at this fantastic convention of Comic-Con. You might notice that I've had this staple to my body ever since we started development. We are really working every day to finish the new draft on uh, Robotech. It's our priority. We're moving to our final draft. Um, we're working, as everyone knows, with Sony Pictures, who have been great partners, and with James Wan, the acclaimed, amazing filmmaker. And he's been very clear that this has been his dream project since he was maybe 12 years old. And everything Robo, James knows. And he has an incredible vision and um, he's going to build this world and uh, execute it. So we couldn't be more delighted. It's uh, my partner priority, which is Mark, uh, Frank and Rama, Gianna Grama, obviously James Wan, and uh, Michael Clear his partner, and uh, everybody else. It's a big team. The thing that drives Robotech are the fans. So there's nothing we appreciate more than expressing our gratitude and letting all of you know that it will be worth the wait. We are almost there. Please stay with us the same way that we stay with this movie, with this idea, with this franchise. We're going to deliver a real new brand version which uh, uh, it makes me smirk because uh, I can see it uh, uh, already in my mind and, and I can hear the screams uh, 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 the day that we're going to be there in San Diego with you showing you some pieces. Uh, 
Hope that that day comes soon enough. We love it. We love the fact, in an interesting way, that it's taken a long time to bring something of this scope to the screen because it's the perfect marketplace. The fans have grown and um, we uh, will deliver. So we are um, counting our blessings. We're waiting for that final draft. We're going to work and we won't let you down. Bye, guys. film but you're asked who's going to direct it well we have a director and he has directed such films as saw insidious the conjuring the conjuring 2 and a little film called furious 7. his name is james Wong. James Wan has a video. Would you like to see it? Yeah! Here it is. You also have a Robotech in development, and uh, how, how beholden do you feel to the original series to using those characters and elements? Well, I'm a big fan of the Robotech world, and I do think, um, you know, the characters are uh, what makes us fans love the series, and uh, especially the Mark Cross saga. And I think it's kind of important to try and uh, retain a, you know, a lot of things that we love about the characters and uh, in the world. Uh, but of course, you know, you have to kind of fit them into, you know, today's climate, today's world. And uh, and hopefully, it's about finding that medium ground of, you know, paying, um, you know, being respectful to the origin uh, material, um, but finding a way to fit into this new world that we live in. Um, how many years away is that if you're going to direct both that and Aquaman then? <laughs> <laughs> so as you see, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, you can clap. I do like clap here. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, we've assembled an outstanding production team. There's a lot of great things, and as the year moves on, we plan on revealing a lot more. But you know, with live action film, you know, now being in development, a lot of people have been asking us, Kevin, you know, what about online streaming for Robotech? That's why we do live in the 21st century. Streaming is the way to go. Well, believe it or not, you know, we went over to our friends at Sony Pictures and we talked to them and said, guys, we have like this online streaming thing. You know, we have, you guys went to the live action movie. You know, what ideas did, like, uh, you know, you help us out with? And after a long plane flight over from Europe, you know, they said, hey, look, you know, we're working on this thing and Robotech would be perfect for a place called Crackle, our online streaming platform. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, what's on Crackle? Well, first of all, all 85 episodes of Robotech are on Crackle. Plus the Shadow Chronicles. And you probably ask yourself, okay, Kev, how's it doing? Well, Robotech, since its debut, has been a top 10 title overall on the platform. You take everything on Crackle, Robotech has been consistently in the top 10 since its debut. But that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. Not only that, Robotech is the number one anime title on Crackle. <laughs> Crackle is everywhere. It's on game consoles and streaming services. It's also on smart TVs. And we're going to have a lot more information as the year unfolds as well. We're very excited about working with Crackle. There's a great relationship between Crackle and Harmony Gold. I expect a lot more interesting things in the future. But speaking of the future, ladies and gentlemen, we also have merchandise. Because that's what you're here for, folks. You want the toys, don't you? Yeah! <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, the wine box figures are out. They have been such a success. Toynami has created a 1.5 series of them, which are available now at the Toynami booth down at dealer room floor. Plus, the 1100 scale transferable Veritex are now available in the Roy Foker, Rick Hunter, and Max Sterling variants. And ladies and gentlemen, we have to introduce a new VF1D Orange in Crackle Orange. It's available for pre-order now at the Toy booth, which will be available later this fall. In addition, we have the plushies. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, the Veritech plushies have sold out. But do not worry, ladies and gentlemen, not only will Toynami be restocking the Veritech plushies, Toynami tomorrow at the Toynami booth 
we'll have a new Linden A plushie. Yes. It'll be on sale tomorrow. No one else may buy it. It's on sale tomorrow for twenty dollars. So go on down the Toynami booth. They're coming in. Now you're all saying, Kevin, why is this happening? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the 25th anniversary of Robotech's debut in China. On July 22nd, 1991, believe it or not, tomorrow, 25 years ago, Robotech made its debut on Shanghai Television and became a huge hit. And because of that, ladies and gentlemen, earlier this year, we went to the Beijing Comic Convention, we teamed with our friends Reed Pop. And at the Beijing Comic Convention, we revealed some new future concepts. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you probably remember the Matchbox Monster Destroy toy. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, wasn't it cool? Yeah, it was one badass little toy, wasn't it? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is oh. what it is. Oh. This, a monster franchise, needs a monster destroy. This is the size of the monster. Oh, yeah. That's a 155 scale VF1. Go big or go home. Yeah. We're going to China. <laughs> I have three toy companies buying to try to make this thing, okay, folks? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Oh, and speaking of going big, going home, you know, we have another future concept that made its debut at the Beijing Comic Convention. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, because the 1-9 scale oh all metal oh. VF1 is in you. You can take a picture, it's okay. And just so you know, folks, here's another photo of it. Yeah, you got this, this thing is all metal, folks. Now, a lot of people have been asking us, because people have seen photos online, they say, Kevin, does it transform? No. Harmony Gold's official statement is this. We cannot comment on its transformational capabilities <laughs> at this time. <laughs> oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, the Robotech Convention Tour will be returning to the Shanghai Comic Convention, and this will be there. Stay tuned. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, in China, we announced a new toy license, and their name is Kids Logic. And they're going to make a large, a new line of large Robotech figures. You want to see the first photo? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Oh, by the way, folks, that uniform is real cloth. Okay. Oh. Yes. Yes. You're really going to like this. These new toys from Kids Logic. Stay tuned. We expect to have this available in the around December of this year. Plus, we have a new transformable toy license. Yes. Fully transformable VF1. Stands 5.5 inches tall, has a high level articulation, a high die cast metal content, LED lighting, includes display, gun pod, missiles, and more. We are pleased to announce that we have a new toy license and their name is Kits Concept. Now, a lot of people say, Kevin, come on, we've heard about metal toys before, and instead we get a whole bunch of plastic. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to say that this VF1 is, is metal, is half metal by weight. Don't believe me, folks? We have brought a sample. Now, folks, so you know, I know there's little stuff for you to see in the back here. Now, folks, later on afterwards, I'm going to let you guys can go up here. It's not going to be given away, sadly, but you can come up here. I know. <laughs> but later on, folks, we'll I'll let you guys can sort of feel and touch the toy. And plus, folks, but <laughs> a beacon of light. <laughs> I'm the funny one. What the heck are you doing? As you can see, folks, it's Blade Transforms, Fighter, Guardian, and Battle. And note, folks, this is the Roy Hunter variant. That is the Roy Foker variant. Both variants will be available. Now folks, a lot of you are saying, okay, Kevin, come on, I've heard this before, we've been to numerous panels, I mean, there are critics online, all they say, all they do is see something, I and mean, they never, like, deliver. Well, ladies and gentlemen, right now, at the robotechstore.com, you can pre-order these, both the Rick Hunter and Roy Foker variants, for $70. Yes. 
right now at the Robotech store, you're gonna be the first people outside of China to be able to purchase the toy. And ladies and gentlemen, Kids Concepts has a lot of other things in the pipeline too. You're gonna be really happy. They always ask me, say, Kevin, what do the fans want? And I told them what you guys have been asking for. And feel free to say something later on during the Q&A session. You're welcome, you're welcome. It's gonna happen. In addition, moving on, ladies and gentlemen, we also have apparel. And of course, our friends at Bait have got apparel. They got the t-shirts, plus they've got the sweatshirts and hoodies. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, you can get on the Bait booth at 147 and check them out. Or you can go to www.baitmedia.com where right now you can order all of their rubbish apparel. I know the dealer room is closed. The ladies and gentlemen, we want to make sure we have things available. We live in a 24-hour world. Here you go. Feel free to place your order. And speaking of, is Gary G here? No? I see him right there. There he is. All right. We have our, we have our friends at 80's Tees. You know, I remember 80's Tees from last year. Well, folks, 80's Tees got a whole ton of new stuff. So much so that we called on our friend Gary G from 80's Tees to come up here and talk about what's going on. Gary, come on up from 80's Tees. Gary, I want to, first off, I want to welcome you to the franchise. Welcome to the Robotech franchise. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Yes. Gary, why don't you go ahead and tell them about what's going on with ADC's. Keys. Well, we are very excited to be partnering with Harmony Gold and creating Robotech products. We have launched several products, and some of you I see you wearing them. I think there's a few in here. There, there he is. Right. Yeah. And we have uh, a new fleece that we had launched. We have a nice model who's going to take a run down the runway here. Go ahead, let everyone see it. Yeah. These are shaking right now. <laughs> These are some of the products we had launched here. Some of them are being worn by you occupants out there. Some of the new products here. There's the fleece. There's the fleece. And Gary, you know, people have been asking me, what? you know, the, the, the Skull Leader is a really great seller. Yeah. But what about the other Skull Squad? Oh, you know, I, I think we might be able to do something. Go ahead and switch that slide. Wait, 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 that slide? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. All right, ready? Bam! <laughs> Those babies are available for pre-order right now. So, if I don't